you're tuning into Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're working on an LS engine rebuild, which is this one right here, which is a 5.3 LM7. We, it's, we estimate it's got around 160, 180,000 miles on it. And we don't have a lot of wear on the cylinder walls, but what we did find was that this thing was in bad need of a set of cam bearings. So we're gonna swap these cam bearings and show you how to do it for your project. Now this is the cam bearing tool kit that we're gonna be using. This one is from Powerhouse. And it's got all these different collets here that when you expand them, they move like this. So they grab a hold of your cam bearings. So first we're gonna put this in the engine and knock the old cam bearings out. Here's one of the affected cam bearings. You can see how it's starting to show copper right here. That is a sure sign of a worn cam bearing. Now up on the top side, it's really rough to the touch. And this is the bottom where most of the pressure is and it's worn out pretty bad. We're gonna replace all of these. All right, now for, this is our hammer bar. This bar will be put up right about here. We'll sit this down. So we've got our collet assembly. Now this collet slides in and it's just a little bit snug and that's the one you want. Okay, now typically you work from the rear to the front. So we have our collet selected. This one is nice and snug. So this one's a little bit tricky because we can't get, with this on our expander, we can't get it through the back of the block. So we're gonna have to put it together inside the block. But you wanna make sure that your expansion grooves line up with the expansion grooves on the head. Don't forget the nose cone. We'll slide our bar in here. And just gonna snug this up just a touch. You don't want it to expand. I'm going to slip this into the block. Okay, then we drop our collet in here, making sure that our grooves line up. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to slide it into the rearmost cam bearing. Then, you have to tighten it. So this is a 7 8 wrench. Take our mallet. Because we're on a rolling stand, we're, I'm using my foot to, to keep this thing from rolling. And then we're using this cone on the front to keep it all aligned. And we're just going to tap this out the back. Then we can loosen it. There's my wrench. We'll loosen the collet. We can pull this back out. And that right there is our old bearing. Oh, that's really bad. So, bring this here so you guys can see it. See how wiped out that is? Yeah, if you installed a new cam in here, it'd be dead real fast. So now, we've done one. We're gonna pull this back. See if it'll go through. It's not gonna. All right, so now we're just gonna do each one of these in succession on down the line. We're gonna take each one of these. This is the rearmost. This is front number four center, which is what we're calling F3, F2, and F1. 
That way we can match them all up because the two on the end are the same size, the three in the middle are different sizes. Now the last one, the one at the front is really tricky. If you don't have your block on a stand, you can drive this out from the other side, but obviously we do. So we're gonna, and this is how most people will do it. So we're just, you just have to be a little more careful. There's our last can bearing. Now note, the there are two holes on this one. One here and one here. Okay, right where my fingers are. So when you put a new bearing in here, you have to make sure that these line up with the holes in the block. If you don't, you're going to have serious oiling issues. All right, so now we've got our cam bearings out. We're gonna take this outside. We're gonna degrease it. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna wash it really good. We're gonna chase all the holes, make sure there's no buildup of uh, metal shavings or anything like that in it. Let it dry. We're gonna paint it, and then we're gonna install the new cam bearings. All right, guys, now we've got our engine block cleaned and prepped, ready to install our new cam bearings. Now there's a couple of things you need to know about your cam bearings on any engine, specifically on our LS. Now, some engines have the same size cam bearings. Some have a progressive cam bearing where the rear bearing is smaller, the front bearing is the largest and they step up. On LS engines, there's three different sizes. The rear and the front are the same size. Number four and number two are the same size, and then the center bearing is yet another size. In the package, they are laid out in that way. So this has a separate part number. These two part numbers are the same, and these two part numbers are the same. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. You always want to start with your rearmost first, and that's what we're going to do. Now, You'll notice there is a hole here and a hole here. There is only one feed hole in the block, and we've got the block positioned so that hole is close to straight up and down. It's right here on each one, okay? It is in line with the uh, oiling hole for the crank. This is how everything oils, so if you get this off, you're gonna have a problem. Fortunately, on LS engines, they are chamfered. So, pull up this one. Let's see here, all right. So you see how, how there's this ring around this hole, okay? That is actually the space that you have to work with for your oiling, because this is a groove, and this is the groove and the hole is in the center. So, you install your cam bearings dry. We have wiped and cleaned all of the cam bearing journals. We have our installer tool. <clears throat> so we're gonna slide that into the engine all the way back. Then when we get to the back, we're actually going to take our bearing and put it in sideways so that it fits and slide it onto the installer tool. And you got to be really careful. You don't want to nick your cam bearings or ding them up in any way. But it is a little bit tricky to make this work inside the engine. There's not a lot of space to work with here.
Okay. So now you want to get it seated up against your tool. All right, then we're gonna grab our wrench. We're gonna tighten the collet. Now we're gonna, there are two holes, so we're gonna put the second hole towards the other side. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna use our finger to kind of line it all up so that we know exactly where that hole is. Okay, so we've got, that's our hole. If you put your finger in here, the groove is right here and it's centered just beyond this angle, this corner, centered just beyond this corner. So it's right about there. So we're gonna pull that and push it right there. Okay, now we've got our hammer. We've got our bearing where we're wanting it. Now we're gonna hold the plastic guide firmly inside the block. We've got our foot up against the stand so it doesn't move. And we're gonna start lightly tapping Make sure this is in the right position. You kind of got to hold both the shaft and the block and the cone. There we go. You gotta be careful because you don't want to drive it in too far. So you gotta check it a few times. Okay, I think we just about got it. Then we're gonna loosen this up. Pull our tool out, and now we can check it with light. Now that we've got this one, we're going to move on to the next and complete our install. The nice thing is you can always check your position and move it a little bit more if you don't get it quite deep enough. You can take a flashlight, stick it in, and then block the other side, and you'll be able to look through the oiling hole for your crank, and you'll be able to see if you've got your hole aligned. As you move along in this process, it does get a little more difficult because you're going to have more pole hanging out. If you, do, if you have your engine on an engine stand like this, then the front can be really tricky. You should take it off 
and run it through the other side, go through the back side. But if you're careful, you can do it from the front side. Now for the last one. The last one is the trickiest. Now for the last one. The last one is the tricky one. You just have to make sure you keep it square. Okay. Now we're going to check it. That's about all there is to installing cam bearings. Now, LSs are pretty easy. They've only got three different sizes. Your late model Hemi engine, it has a really large front cam bearing. It's about two and a half inches long. It's very difficult to remove it. You usually have to split it and bend it to get it out. Installing a new one is equally difficult. Uh, but LSs are pretty simple. You usually don't have to do this unless you have significant wear like we did or if you're doing machining on your block and you need to do a deep clean. This is a pretty simple project though. Anybody can do it in about two, maybe three hours with a disassembled engine. This is a pretty simple project. Most people can do it in about two or three hours with a disassembled block. Make sure you click subscribe and we'll see you next time.